Hey, what's up guys? Nathan Crane here with Plant Powered Athlete and I am back to bring you another video on where do I get my protein on a plant-based diet. So, let me share with you one of my favorites. This is a staple in my diet. It's super simple, high protein, nutrient packed. Three foods, you can combine them together and get all the protein that you need, including all the essential amino acids that your body needs to not only produce protein, but to produce the thousands of different kinds of protein that your body needs for cellular regeneration at every tissue level of the body. So the first thing here is quinoa. Quinoa is one of my favorite, naturally gluten-free, so a lot of people can eat quinoa without any problems. Most people consider it a grain, but it's technically a seed, and it's incredibly nutritious. There are people around the world who've been cultivating and eating quinoa for thousands of years. Our bodies are adapted to eat this incredible, nutritious powerhouse. So, one cup of cooked quinoa gives you eight and a half grams of protein. And the next thing I love to eat, almost on a daily basis, is tofu. Of course, organic tofu, it basically comes from the soybean. And no men, do not worry, tofu, soy does not harm your hormones. There are studies that show that it actually blocked the estrogen beta receptors so that the xenoestrogens that we're exposed to in our environment actually can't enter or they have a hard time or a limited time entering into our estrogen receptors. And so what it does is it actually balances your hormones. It does not give you man boobs. And in fact, it has been shown to be preventative and supportive in helping the body fight off chronic diseases, even like cancer. So it is highly, highly nutritious. People around the world have been eating this for thousands of years as well, but I always avoid the conventional soy because most of it's genetically modified and I just don't put any genetic modification into my body. Why would I do that? Why would I want to eat fish cells that were taken out of some laboratory fish and put into some bean and then sprayed with all kinds of pesticides and fungicides and herbicides to kill all the animals so they don't eat it, all the insects so they don't eat that. But I'm supposed to eat that and think that's healthy for me? Are you kidding me? So organic is always the way to go. And so with the tofu, I get the super firm version. So it's, it's really dense, super packed with calories and protein. And you can literally cut it into fifths. And I take three of those fifths and I'll saute it up. Uh, I'll bake it, you can grill it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can, if you're used to eating meat or have eaten meat in the past, however you season your meat, you can basically season this the same way and it will taste amazing. But three fifths of this alone will give you 42 grams of nutrient dense protein in a single meal with just the super firm organic tofu. And then always I gotta have greens in my meal highly recommend some good old-fashioned organic kale. And if you take about three cups of it cooked, which is really not that much, it's gonna give you six and a half grams of protein as well. So you mix these together, you got a cup of cooked quinoa, you got three-fifths of this tofu, and you got three cups of some steamed kale, and that gives you 57 grams of protein in one meal and about 716 calories. Now. There are a lot of ways you can cook this, but basically you cook quinoa very similar to rice. It actually cooks a little bit faster. I like to saute up my tofu with different seasonings. I'll put some garlic, some salt. I'll do some Bragg's aminos, liquid aminos on it. You can try all different kinds of sauces, whatever kind of sauce you like. You can basically put it on it. It's ready to eat. You can eat this like this, so you don't have to actually even cook it. We will just crumble it on salads sometimes. It's totally fine to eat it like this. There's absolutely no problem, it's already cooked. But I like to bake it or saute it up with some flavor and then same thing with the kale and just mix these together and you've got an amazing, delicious, highly nutritious, high protein, nutrient dense meal to support your gains, support your health and give you the nutrition, the vitamins, the minerals, the phytonutrients, the amino acids that your body needs to thrive. So as always, I always recommend organic as much as you possibly can. But this is one of my staples. I hope you enjoy it, try it out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and leave me your questions below as well. Thanks for tuning in and remember, stay strong.